square root of numbers using prime factorization. To begin with, in this topic, we need to identify what are prime numbers to guide us on how to get the square root of numbers. For instance, what is a prime number? A prime number, these are numbers that are divisible by 1 and itself. For instance, a number like 2, it can only be divisible by 1 and 2. A number like 3 can only be divisible by 3 and 1. Now let's look at a number like 9. 9 is divisible by 3 and also 3. And therefore, 9 cannot be termed as a prime number. So let's list examples of prime numbers. The first prime number is 2, followed by 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and the list is endless. Now, when we are getting square root of numbers using this prime factorization, you need to understand prime numbers because we are going to use prime numbers in getting square root of such a numbers. Like for instance, given a number like 441, find the square root of 441. So what we need to do here, we use factor trees. That is 441, we use a factor tree. This is what we call a factor tree. It has a branch here and another branch here. Therefore, we look for the numbers that can divide 441. So 441 divided by, now here, you're looking at the prime numbers. 441 cannot be divisible by 2 since the last digit here, it's odd number, not even number. So we don't pick 2, we pick 3. So let's try 3. 4 divided by 3, it's 1 because of 3. Take away. 4 take away 3, 1, it's 1. Drop 4. 14 divided by 3, it's 4 because of 12. Take away. 4 take away 2, it's 2. Then you drop 1. 21 divided by 3, it's 7. And therefore, when we're listing here, the quotient, you write it on the right-hand side. But the prime number, which is the divisor, you write it on the right-hand side. After that now, you move on with the division, being guided by the prime numbers. So you first of all check, the first prime number is 2. Is this number divisible by 2? If not so, you move the next prime number. Is this number divisible by 3? So let's try by 3. 14 divided by 3, it's 4 because of 12. 4 take away 2, it's 2. And then you drop 7. 27 divided by 3, it's 9. Because 9 times 3, it's 27. So again, when you're coming up with the next uh, branch, here, it's only write the prime number until you write the quotient. Then you proceed with the division. 49 is it divisible by 2? No, it can't be divisible by 2 simply because the last digit here is, is not an uh, even number, it's an odd number. So let's try 3. Again, by 3, here it will be 1 because of 3. Here it will be 19. 19 is not divisible by 3. So you move on to the next prime number. Again, since this number ends with 9, a number is only divisible by 5 if it ends with a 0 and 5. And since our last digit here is 9, so we skip 5, we go to 7. So 7 times 7 is 49. And therefore, here it's 7. 7 times 7 is 49. And our next branch, our quotient is 7. And our divisor, which is the prime number, is 7. And with that, we are done because we have ended here with the prime numbers. So now we pair them. Pairing is basically done if the digits you got here are the same. So let's pair this and also this. So in each pair, we pick one digit. We pick 3 and here I pick 7. So 7 times 3 is 21. Hence, the square root of 441 is 21. Let's do our next example. Find the square root of 225. 
So we have said st step one is to form a factor tree. After forming a factor tree, we try to identify the prime numbers that are divisible by 225. So 225 divided by, we can begin by 3. So before going to 5, which is higher than 3, since this number is not divisible by 2, so we can go to the next one, which is 3, we try. If it's not divisible, we move to the next prime number, which is 5, we check. So it goes 7 times because of 21, we take away. 2 take away 1 is 1, 2 take away 2 is 0, we drop 5. It becomes 15. 15 divided by 3, it's 5, because 5 times 3, it's 15. And therefore, on our branch here, we write the prime number, which is the divisor, 3. And then on the right-hand side, we put the quotient. Next step, we continue with our division, 75. Can only be divided by 2 because it ends with a 5. But we can try the next one after 2, it's 3. So 7 divided by 3, it's 2 because of 6. 7 take away 6 is 1, and then we drop 5. 15 divided by 3, it's 5. 5 times 3 is 15, you take away, you get 0. So, when you are forming the next branch, our 3 will be on this side, and 25 on this side. We continue until we get a number here, which are prime numbers. So, 25, we cannot divide 25 by 3, but now, because it ends with a 5, we divide by 5. So, 5 times 5 is 25. We take away is 0. So, our quotient is 5 and our divisor is 5. And because now you have gotten prime numbers at the bottom, we stop there with our division. Now we go to pairing. Because 3 and 3 are common, we pair them. And this one, we pair them and we pick 1. So, 3 times 5 is equals to 15. Therefore, the square root of 225 is equals to 15. I want us to stop there, but I want us next lesson to check square root of numbers using long division. Bye bye. Remember to subscribe and also to share with your friends. Thank you.